Welcome back, everybody. Dr. Leah joining us now to talk about ASU's choir concert that they have coming up. And it's a week from today. A week from today. Too soon, but we're busy. Yeah, you're going to make it happen. Yeah, I was just really rushing today to get through things, but I have, I have great students, so they'll do, good, they'll do a good job. Talk to me about what this concert is going to be like. Well, it's, it's going to be a little different from anything we've done recently. Oh, okay. um, it's, it's a smaller group, the chamber group, that that's kind of what chamber choir, exp you know, communicates or expresses is that it's a smaller group. Okay. And so everybody's voice is really important. You can't have a few wanderers. Everybody has to be right <laughs> They're all on. big voices. But yeah, they all have to be right on. They're our best. They're the best of, okay. of what we have at Angelo How State. How many of them are there? There are 18 or 19. Oh, wow. It's a small group. Small, you know, we've gotten up with 70 Five eighty oh, okay. singers, but this is a small chamber ensemble, and they are singing music from the Renaissance period, which is roughly the fifteenth and sixteenth centuries, and then the classical period, which is roughly the eighteenth century. And it's European stuff, um, motets, which are sacred pieces in Latin. That's basically what a motet is. Are they singing in Latin? They're singing in Latin. They're singing in German. Oh my gosh. Um, and so they're, you know, running as fast as they can to get all of this, to get all this what ready. What is it like directing songs in a different language and getting your choir members to learn that? Well, you know, nobody lives in a vacuum or, you know, or lives on an island. These kids have all been in music programs, even the ones that aren't music majors, and I, we have more non-majors than music majors. Okay. And these kids have all come through good high school choir programs, middle school choir programs, elementary school teachers. It takes a village to get kids ready to sing for this. So I can't take credit for it by myself. It's a long... Started when they were it, five. When they were, <laughs> well, maybe not that early, but it's a long development. And uh, this is what makes this thing work, is having kids that already have some skills to begin with. They don't come in to something like this and not know anything so that'd be me if I came into it well you know I do have a, a community group that I have some people that are mu retired music teachers and then I have other people so I may be calling you oh well do well, you I sing um I I mean in I the can shower? carry a tune that's all it takes we I have know if you want to. listen we have a lot of fun I'll talk to you about that later <laughs> see I'm already recruiting well, so. yeah yeah we'll see if she can get me on stage to sing <laughs> that's a whole different ball game but this is happening a week from today a week from today what it's have free has been like uh, uh, kind of hectic uh, <laughs> get, you know today was a little uh, it's a week from today you know because we just came off of spring break yes. and they've all thinking we've got plenty of time and I'm like uh-uh we, it's it's a week from today, folks. Oh, so you know. I mean, we're just anyway. It's been it's been a lot of fun. But the music is there's a good deal of a cappella music, which means there's no accompaniment. Yeah, it's just the voices. And then there's some music that's accompanied. We have a very fine pianist at Angelo State that plays for our concerts. His name is Michael Yenny. Doctor Yenny uh, has a degree in accompanying. I've forgotten wow. where from, but. Uh, and, and he's just a great fellow. A lot of people in town know him because he plays for the, all the theatrical productions, and so he's real busy. But uh, great guy, a lot of fun to work with. Kind of crazy at times, but that's kind of what it takes. And I'm that way, so we get along real I was well. Say you guys must get along. Oh, we well. do. We get along great. But um, for instance. The, the music from the Renaissance period, the secular music, the madrigal, you've, I know you've heard of madrigals. Uh, it's, it's very picturesque, like we're doing a piece entitled Hear the Murmuring Waters, and it sounds like water. Oh, so it really it's, does it paint has a that, picture. Yes, it does paint a picture. And we're doing a piece entitled Come Again, Again Sweet Love, and it's one of those sort of um, emotional love song type of things, you know, a melancholy song about how much I love you, why don't you love me back kind of thing. <laughs> but we you don't know? want to give it all away. They need to come see yeah, it. So, so they can come see Tuesday that. Tuesday at 7 p.m. Tuesday at 7. And it's a short concert. I know my, when we did Messiah back in December, that thing was long. But 
uh, the, and it was a wonderful concert. But this one's fairly short. And uh, it's free. It's free. I am I am featuring a couple of uh, professionals in the community. Dr. Scott Rains, he's our baritone voice teacher at Angelo State, and Patty Wetzel, who the community's heard sing solos with me a, a bunch of times. She's the best soprano in town. She's really good. Uh, they're going to do a famous uh, classical duet together. Oh, that you have to be there to hear for yourself, everyone. That is next Tuesday, 7 p.m. ASU Choir. Go see it. At the, at the Cactus. I'll be back.